Hi everybody, hope you are all doing well. I am so excited today because we are going to play with some shadows and some lipsticks that I have not ever used before. And this is all uh, due because of my so, 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 so generous uh, sister-in-law who always gets me the best dang gifts and she decided to pick up some Tom Ford quads for me and then also a little lip set here. So the two quads that I have, I think I'll do a look today with one and then I'll do a look um, tomorrow with one so we can kind of just see uh, the different looks that I can create. But I'm just excited to see how these shadows work because in my mind, I kind of think of Tom Ford and Marc Jacobs and YSL. I'm not sure about the pigment. Like, do they pack the pigment like they do Juvia's Place or is this more for, you know, editorial kind of looks um, where, you know, perhaps color isn't always the focus. It's more so I think of kind of just like shimmery, dewy, glossy, beautiful. I don't really know. But um, what's kind of interesting is these Tom Ford's uh, quads have like a little baggie to protect them. I I mean, it's cute. I just, is it necessary? Probably not. Um, but this one is in, oops, um, the little pieces that came in at the bottom here. You have a little brush on one side and then just a sponge tip applicator and similar a sponge tip applicator but then one that's a little bit more pointy on the other side but this is daydream and this one beautiful kind of purpley tones i'm pretty sure this is what we're gonna play with today because i want to just do like a cool toned purple look just sounds divine to me and then um the other one is in let me take out see they kind of have this whole tray here that holds all of the little pieces together and this is in leopard sun so obviously very very different to warm toned uh both of which none of the shadows within here are truly matte which is interesting to me um they all these three kind of here are more satin looking and this one looks more like a shimmer and ooh. I feel like I have a cat hair. I did. Gross. Um, and kind of similarly, these two definitely look more shimmery and those look not as shimmery, uh, more so kind of satin. So it's kind of interesting to have that, I guess, but I bet they will perform um, as, you know, kind of matte shadows do. Um, what also is interesting is uh, the, uh, what is this one? Leopard Sun, there is no Tom Ford stamped into the shadows, but then there is on, oops, I just nicked one of the shadows. Oh, that's the worst, right? Not bad, but a little baby nick. Um, but then on this purple daydream one, we have the TF. So I'm assuming that means one was probably manufactured before the other, or one's being discontinued or something like that. I am not well versed in my Tom Ford eyeshadows, so I'm assuming that's probably what's up with that. I don't think I'll be using these today. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see what kind of look I end up creating, but I really want to use kind of my brushes and see what I can, what kind of fantasy I can create today. And then what I find so funny is on this box for the eyeshadow, they have a little like plastic uh, protector to keep this TF all safe. But then within here, we have three lipsticks, which are super cute. Um, and we will go through kind of the colors and which one we will try on later and what will look best with this purple look. Um, so yeah, let's play with some Tom Ford shadows and lippies and let's see what kind of look we can create today. First thing I'm going to do is go in with some eyeshadow primer. I'm just using up some Fenty eyeshadow primer, but you know, if you got Primer Potion from Urban Decay or Milani eyeshadow primer, ditch, just get yourself a primer or if you use concealer, whatever you do to try to kind of uh, let your shadows have the best chance of sticking around, make sure you do that. So, we go in with a nice fluffy brush, but what do I go into? Do I want to do this super bright? I think I have to build up with this really bright color, and I don't know. 
yeah, it doesn't look like these have names, uh, the shades themselves. So I'm just going to tap in Oop, got a little bit of primer stuck here. And we're going to go kind of right into this transition crease area and see what happens here. Now I am going in lightly, but you can just see I'm going into this pigmented shade and I'm tapping in and I'm definitely picking it up on my brush. I'm not even tapping off, but there it is much more of kind of like a lighter wash of this purple. Obviously I'm applying it in the sense of wanting it to be more so like that, but it, it definitely, you can see the purple, but it, it is not as kind of as vibrant as what I see here, but I'm just gonna keep building it up and see where we can go. So I've built up some of the purple and I do think it can build. Um, I'm just kind of interested to see what happens when I press in. And yeah, it's not, I mean, I definitely get more pigment, but it is not a super rich pigmented shadow, which is kind of what I was suspecting. Um, and kind of look more into these shimmers here. And these shimmers seem to have a bit more of kind of that concentration. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm still going to try to build it up, but I'm going to use a brush that's a little bit more dense and that's a bit more tapered uh, so that I can really get into the crease and then I might even go a size smaller and really get into the, tr the crease to try to pack on uh, this color. I don't know if I really want to go into too much of this shade uh, just yet, but I, I probably will add a little bit on the inner uh, or the outer corner, uh, but I really want to pack on and, and see how much I can get out of this vibrant purple shade. See, what's interesting is I feel like this shade in particular is more so that kind of satiny finish. So I can really see almost like patchiness, but it's almost because the light isn't reflecting off the right part of the shade. It's really very interesting. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is go into this deeper shade and see if we can get some pigment out of it um, just to kind of help uh, build. And yeah, that definitely has a bit more kind of depth that shade. I'm going to help amp up my crease a little bit. Now I'm going to go back into the vibrant purple, kind of re-blend through everything. Yeah, it's just so strange. Why? 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 We will be moving on along because I've worked it. I, I don't know how to work her more anymore. So, I still love that shade. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to spritz my brush and go into it wet and then pack it on. And we're gonna do a halo eye today. So I'm gonna pack it on this part of the eye and this part of the eye. And we'll just see, I mean, I don't know. It's just odd to me. It looks like, wow, but yeah, I'm underwhelmed. Let's see what a little bit of spritz action does to this shade. Okay. Okay, so maybe she just needs to be packed on. I would like to have one that's a little more multi-purpose because we don't have a whole lot of shades working into this quad, but all right, I will appreciate that for sure. Ooh, that is electric. I love that. Now, while I still have some of the wet, I'm actually going to tap it in between because maybe that will help kind of that patchiness that I'm getting. And I'll kind of just blend her on out. So now, I take my brush and hopefully most of that deepest kind of midnight blue shade is gone. I'm just gonna buff out my edge here. Yeah, see? Patchy. I love it packed on, but just smoked out like this is not my favorite. So now the question is, is what do we put right into that space? We got two kind of brighter shimmers. We have one that's a bit more kind of icy lilac and then one that's more so just silver. I think we'll go for like the icy lilac kind of color. And I am tempted. We will try it just first 
with the finger, but we will probably spritz her on down because the magic that I saw with a little bit of spritz, like it's pretty, that's fine. But with a little bit of spritzy spritz, let's see what this can do. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Beautiful. Kind of blending those edges between the two colors. Pretty. Better. It's better. Yeah, I definitely think these shadows have something when they are wet. They they really start to look, and they easily get wet. Um, and I usually just keep it into one kind of corner of my pan so I don't ruin the rest of the shadow. Um, but that does get really pretty. Um, it's more so just these edges, honey. I don't know why it is being such an issue. I'm going to lightly tap into our lightest shade here and kind of go right under the brow. Give ourself a nice highlight and kind of bring up and out. Maybe tap a little bit into our brightest purple shade and see if we can just get some of that feeling out on the edge. Okay, all right. I'm not in love with how they blended, but I am in love with how they packed on. So I guess kind of to each his own as if you don't do more so blended out looks and you just want to pack on some beautiful shimmer on your lid. You really could have a moment here for sure. Um, so let me get on the rest of my face and then I'll bring you back in for some lower lash line action and of course some lipstick. All right, so I would like to do my lower lash line and then I decided to not put on highlight and we will probably end up using this as our highlight today because I love myself some continuity. So I'm going to go in with a little bitty brush and I'm going to try to emulate what I did up here down here. So it might take me a minute to smudge and I might have to even wet this brush, but I'm gonna smudge that brighter purple here and then that light purple, uh, this one down here in the center. Now I'm gonna take that light purple, or not the light purple, the deep kind of bright purple that didn't blend so well for us, but I'm going to blend out my edge anyway. Might not do a whole hill of a beans, but we will try. Mm, 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 mm. Now, I am loving the purple. I'm always a big fan of purple. It makes my green eyes go Mwah! But I would like to, I think, add a little bit of sparkle into that inner tear duct. So I'm gonna go into the lightest shade up here that we'll also use for highlight and tap in just a little bit on that inner corner. Do I want it to pop even more than what it is? Do I add a little bit more setting spray? Gosh, why do I love being so extra? <laughs> All right, so I added in that inner corner pop and boy, do I love the purple. Even though it wasn't perhaps the easiest to blend out and I have still some patchiness that I'm not happy with. Overall, when you look at it, you're not really staring at the patchiness, but just the, you know. Now let's go into our three little, um, this was that little plastic thingy, our three little lipsticks. This first one is 33 Army. And it is a beautiful kind of deep red, which would give me very, um, when I did that, um, looks like perhaps the tube got a little funny in packaging, maybe when it was shipping, if it got a little warm, um, but that doesn't really bother me too much, but this packaging is beautiful. Um, this would have, what I was saying, was kind of remind me of my Miley Cyrus look that I did where I had kind of more of like a purpley eye and a red lip. That is a combo I'm seeing a lot uh, now. And here we have more of an orange kind of red. This is also very beautiful. Um, and this is number five, Antonio. And this one is uh, noted as a soft matte. And it does kind of look not as shiny compared to ARMY. You can kind of see it's a bit more dull, the bullet, compared to the bullet of, um, oops, ARMY. Right now, ARMY is winning because I don't think a hot color is really what I am looking for or a warm toned kind of color is what I'm looking for today. And then we have 20 Richard. 
And let's see what this one looks like. A nice kind of neutrally deep color. We're probably gonna go with this. Um, and it's almost sad because it's just so beautiful to see that nice printed in TF, but we're gonna put it on and I'm excited to see how it all works out. Um, and this is definitely a cute little uh, set. And really, if you wanted to, you could purchase something like this, open it up and share and split up these three little trios. I don't know if this is for holiday or not, but I do think that's something to always think about whenever you're kind of purchasing for girlfriends or boyfriends or whomever is wearing your makeup. It's always fun when there are multitudes of different products you kind of can pick colors that maybe you think certain people would like and that sort of thing so let's try on this lipstick i just have like chapstick on my lip so i'm not super concerned about that kind of a cosmetic sweet scent <laughs> I do think that color is beautiful. The feeling on the lips is really nice too. It's not uh, super dry or anything. It's not like that demi matte that was in there, but I forgot to, we didn't highlight. So let me go in. I wanna go into this shade up here and use that as my highlight. Now it might be a little too icy because I can see it's casting a bit of a dark spell on the cheek, which is not always the nicest look. So I might kind of buff in a little bit of what's left on my sponge. And we can go into just a little bit of maybe my Makeup Geek highlighter here. I think this is in Starlight. Yes. Kind of add some warmth really pretty i do i do love 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 this color um it's kind of like a, f a pretty berry cranberry shade all right i am now going to put on mascara and uh we can close out with some final thoughts all right everybody so i put on some mascara and i have um you know i've looked and i like how the eye looks it's pretty but I do feel like I had to work a little bit harder than I normally would um, if I was using something like Juvia's Place uh, to kind of get something similar. Like I bet I could make something quite similar to this with Juvia's Place. All that said, this is still a beautiful eye look. I, I think it's stunning. Um, and I think these shades are very, very pretty. I will also be sure to put in a look or even a little tutorial of me using the um, leopard sun one i'm excited to see if perhaps these satins work any different or um you know kind of how these perform because i obviously will want to probably be tempted to put that in the crease but maybe i will try more so with the red and see kind of what happens um and maybe deepen up with that tomorrow we'll see uh this shimmer kind of is similar in the sense of it's a little bit more sparkly than it is something uh, with pigment packed in there. So that's something where I'm not surprised because that does seem to be kind of what happens when you get higher up into kind of these prestige brands. It seems like the pigment themselves sure can be strong, but it's not as kind of across the board, but I do think that is intentional. I do think they are purposely making things perhaps not as vibrant or strong. Uh, and then when it comes to the little lipsticks, I, I really think this color is beautiful. I do really like um, kind of having a bit more to play with. And tomorrow we'll see which one. I'll probably pick one of these red shades to use uh, for the look and just kind of see how, how that comes together. But I do think overall, obviously, the eye and the lip, it's beautiful um would i pay these retail i think for 88 dollars no. no i would not pay 88 dollars even if it's got the tom ford name sure i guess if somebody is really into luxury beauty and they you know it's a collector kind of thing i definitely understand why you would um you know want something like this it is beautiful these shades are fun um 
but you know, I don't know if I'm thinking in my mind, oh, I really want to make a purple look. If I will think of this, I probably will reach for Juvia's Place or, um, you know, something else. Maybe for some of these shimmers, these two shimmers were very beautiful, but a shade like this, I want to be able to kind of blend out and create a little bit more with, but it still ended up working. I, I'm not... I don't think I'm over the moon, but I'm not like canceling it out, you know, kind of she in the middle uh, where where everything is concerned. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, wherever you are and whatever you may be doing, I hope you're able to do something you love every single day. All right. Bye, guys.